welcome to another headcast and here the beautiful monk hello monk how are you i'm all right <laughs> not gone mad in uh, in lockdown uh-huh. or anything oh st- stayed mad you've stayed mad yeah, in stayed lockdown mad. i've got my headphones on today to make sure i can hear you ask me some nice blue. dj i will so uh monk how are you I know the, the, the viewers at home will be concerned for your health. Rumours of your death have been greatly exaggerated. Yeah, I've, um, I am undead. I have returned. I, um, yeah, I've, had, I've been ill for about, uh, I think I counted it all up. It's like nine and a half, getting on for ten weeks. I've, I've had the roller coaster of two or three weeks of feeling like death, like super, super flu. And then I started feeling a little bit better, a little bit better, and I started easing myself out into moving and exercising, and the weather was good. Um, and then I just dropped right back off again. Um, yeah. Then just I was aching and had headaches for another fortnight, um, and just no energy and shit. But touch wood, um, that's over now, and I've had two good weeks of feeling. Simeon again, human. Uh, Simeon again. Yeah. Do you think it might be um, withdrawal symptoms? Are you think you're missing mags too much? I very much think that is the case. So I've, Probably. Uh, yeah. I think we've all been feeling that the roller coaster emotions, you know. Feels. Feels, man. Hashtag feels. Hashtag yeah, feels. I think the um, whatever it is that grows on that little edge of carpet next to the bar. That you know those spores that have naturally kept us all. You know, I, I think what we need really need to do is go back there, and because that's what's getting yeah. us going. I think yeah. so. It might have to be the cure that we're all looking for—the vaccine. Like, so, yeah, snorting yeah. the mushrooms from the carpet in Bethnal Green Working Men's Club might be all, what we all need. That's it. Yeah, the uh, the glitter stuck to the oh, whatever the black stuff. The is. fucking editor's trying to call me. I'm going to hang up on him. <laughs> Oops. Decline. Too late, Gary. Sorry, Gary. Hi, Ga- oh, also, hi, Gary. Oh, oh yeah. Cause you're gonna... Hi, Gary. Because <laughs> Gary's going to see this, Monk. You're like, ah. Oh. <laughs> it's him. He's going to see this in a minute when you send it across. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. To those people that don't know, Gary lives uh, there, the other side of that, that bookcase. Um, except he's socially distancing with his fiance down in her place in South London. Mm-hmm. That way. That way. There you go. That way. Maybe that way, actually. I don't know. That way for me. That way. <laughs> Whoever you like. I'm dancing on a bloody thing that's going to go on the internet. That's a terrible promise. I mean, we've all been there, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, Mung, it's good to hear you're feeling so much better. Mm. Like, I'm glad you're feeling well. Um, but if someone didn't know who you were, and it just seems unlikely to me that anyone comes to anyone comes to the hate club wouldn't know who you are. Um, who are who the heck are you? Um, and what do you do? And where would you where would they find you? What, what do you normally do? What do I normally do? I normally play beer. Yeah. Oh, it's a good game, isn't it? It's a good game. It's a good game. I'm winning right to the last round, and suddenly <laughs> I lose. <laughs> yeah, every round, every single bloody round. Every round. Um, never seem to remember the end of the game. What's going yeah. on? No, I, I guess I'm, I'm I'm one of the the founder members, the guys that were like kept going to other people's clubs and events at Warhammer World and whatnot, and went, hang on a minute, why are we going there? Why don't we have our own one? We built it, they will come, and they did. Yeah. Ooh, all over the table, they came long. <laughs> they after. really did. God knows how many years now. Um, Rumor is ten, according to Rick. Yeah, uh, yeah. And who, who can who can doubt Rick? You know, I, I looked back on some files and the first Hackney area tabletop enthusiast thing that I drew up as the unofficial art director or whatever, um, only person that can use Illustrator and Photoshop um, of those founder members um, and, you know, being a bit of a design Nazi, um, kind of said, no, this is good. This is how we do it. So I kind of took that role on myself. Um, so you designed the-, the classic logo, the hate logo. That is um, your work. It, it evolved initially. It was just Hackney area tabletop enthusiasts underneath hate, and then I, for whatever reason, drew up the dice in a bit of three D software, just teaching myself stuff. And then went, "Hang on, that's the logo." 
and it became, you know, the yeah. The um, there's a lot of pressure, and I'm not going to name names, Mirror. Don't worry. <laughs> that maybe it should be a, it should maybe be a D20. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, the D6 appear is in all games. The D20 is synonymous with role play. Um, well, we're going to ask you about your opinion about dice later on, so don't. I had to spoil strong, it now. Strong opinion. Strong opinion. Good. I'm glad to hear it. I, and I have a strong opinion about dice. This is the hand with which I roll them. Yeah. Yes. And that as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I, thought the, I, thought that, I thought that was a glue hand. Uh, that's the glue hand because <laughs> these are. These are the fingers I glue together. Shit. Shit. Yeah. Um. So they'll find you. Basically, you're an alcoholic that's been at the club since it started. Alcohol- alcoholist. I enjoy alcoholist. imbibing alcohol. Alcohol. Yes. Just sw- you swill it and then spit it out. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Into <laughs> your mouth. Into your throat. I spit <laughs> out my mouth. Is mouth throat. Open. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... Time, I- do you, do, you, do you ever find yourself playing any games apart from beer? Um, I yeah, I think beer is my most. Um, I, and I tend to play gin and tonic or beer and pint of soda water. Ooh, um, yum! Just by virtue of my job, often involves. I'm a freelance, so I'm all over the place uh, in every. Sense. If you need some uh, shelves, talk yeah. to Mark. These are right like here. these ones. Yeah. The, the irony being, of course, that I'm a carpenter that builds furniture and film sets and all kinds of things. But because I live in rem- rented property, I IKEA. Sorry, I lost you there. You're frozen. You're frozen. Say again, love. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, oh, I, I've got a bit of... It's the Gellerfields again, Mark. Gellerfield, the Gellerf- yeah. Oh, there's a demon. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> the chaotic juices the, the flying yes. people. So uh, you build shelves, but what games do you play? <laughs> I think was the question. Um, on those rare occasions that I can lug an army or a, a, a box of toys to the club. Um, when when Frostgrave was hot, I was playing a lot of that. Um, Where's a new I, edition coming out soon? Yes, and 40k yeah. new edition of 40k. It's, yeah, it's the fresh and new times, isn't it? Yeah, I'm, I'm quite excited about the new 40k. It does sound like they've done their utmost. The playtesters and stuff seem to be saying all the things I want to hear about the game. You know, that the, the toys are going to do what we think they should do, that playing is yeah. apt like playing rather than hitting the edge of the board and ceasing to exist. Um, yeah. they've, the new GW are very receptive to what the players so, it's a real change, isn't it? So yeah, that's good. yeah, very much. Um, as much as they're still a, a massive corporate monster, um, yeah. But you know, they seem to be trying to do the right things. Um, they've had my CV a couple of times, um, and yet they're still, and yet they're still, they're still working. They're still running. It's amazing. Yeah, they they know loads about me, and they still let me in the building. Weird. Yeah, weird. <laughs> weird. <laughs> that's cool. So let's yeah. get let's get. If I get the feeling, if I don't ask you some questions, Mark, we're just going to chat for about two hours, which is not a bad thing. But yeah, but you, and I yeah. Hmm? Sorry? you and I, you and I, just playing beer and fucking off the questions. Yeah, yeah. actually not stuff it. Anyway, <laughs> question one. Go on. Then. We're guessing that ten minutes in, and we've got a question one. What's on your workbench? It's an easy um, one, Monk. Apart from yeah. a set of shelves. Set of shelves. Well, it's the. I've got my nice little paint station and I've got my kind of building station. Um, so I've got the Silent Moor stuff, which is Benjamin May's campaign. Oh, yes. You, you've got like 1,500, 1,200 points of a 40K army and then an inquisitorial retinue. Mm-hmm. And a lot of the missions are based around this Inquisition and what they do. And that affects a wider universe. It's really good fun. And gosh, I can't think how many. A, a dozen to... 30 of us have gathered for these things. Um, Legendary, I would go as far as to say now. Legendary. Yeah, it would have been like the fifth year we'd been doing it and we were going to be doing it at Warhammer World, but then, you know, the Galapox leaked. Um, Yeah. 
so that didn't happen but i've been toying around with that and that's um i've not put stuff up for a while because like i say ill um but people might have seen a delorean uh with um doc brown and they might have seen the scooby-doo gang and the van made out of a gravis yeah. all of that stuff and the like Marty McFly Space Marine on a hoverboard. All of that stuff has been for the uh, Silent War. Just yeah. have a really stupid army because I made an 18 van and I made a four man inquisitorial retinue, BA Baracus as a Ogrian and stuff like that. Because um, kit bashing is my thing. And then of it's course, good I've got fun. My kit. Yeah, I, I'm obsessed with breaking things and smashing them against each other with glue. Yeah, and then there was my deep gits, which is yeah. a further continuation of that. That's a really beautiful model. I wonder how I can spend a week changing it into something of my own. Um, yeah. And then Alpha Legion, who are just, just Space Marines. And that's a lie. Um, yeah, because everything is a lie if you say Alpha Legion. Yeah. So it's true then? If I were to say I was a liar, yeah, I'm not going to try and... No, I'm a computer. Uh, a liar. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I I love everything about the Alpha Legion just because it contradicts itself and it weaves in and out. Yeah. And, and I've got the same haircut, so yeah. yeah, it's a natural choice. Yeah. And it just yeah, means I, I, can, I can lose every game of 40k, as I characteristically do, um, and say, ha we were the faint. This was all a cunning Just plan. as I planned. Yeah, exactly. And I can cackle and laugh. And um, yeah. it's all Dan Abbott's fault. That book Legion. Yeah, something else. Really good it's, book. So it's yeah, it's my it's my favourite. And uh, I think even without a bias towards the Alpha Legion already, um, I was like, thank you, you've you've done them justice. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So absolutely. there we go. So, um, yeah, Monk, thanks. with your bookcase behind you there, what mm. are you reading at the moment? I have been chewing away through the Night Lord's Omnibus for Ooh. months. Very slow reader. Um, it's supposed to be very good, I've heard. It is. It is excellent. Um, Mr. Dembski Bowden is, um, he has magnificent hair and he has a real uh, turn of phrase. Just enjoy the way he writes. Um, yeah. And you don't root for these fucking horrible space marine bastards and you kind of root for their slaves and underlings um, and you totally understand why they're chaos. And yeah, it's just really good. I yeah, really like the way he writes. Uh, but I, I'm dyslexic and stupid and, um, and I tend to go to bed when I'm tired and then go, we've read two pages and then I stop. Oh, it's my there's nothing sends me to sleep quicker at night time than trying to read a book yeah i'm reading a book at the moment mm -hmm. i'm reading finnegan's wake finnegan's wake i wouldn't I know am, where i'm 90 pages in yeah and i have to say i haven't got a bloomin clue what's oh, going yeah. on see that's that's how it tends to be how i judge a book is if it's not grabbed me and i'm like oh i can't wait to go to bed yeah sorry, sorry love can't this book's good. Um, yeah. It's more of a, I'm, I'm forced, I guess I am forcing myself to read it as like a challenge to myself. I will yeah. read the most convoluted and most impenetrable book in the English language. 628 pages. You know what? Of I fancy absolute nonsense. Chaucer. Yeah. Chaucer? Yeah, I really fancy some Chaucer, said nobody. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's everything. And I brought them down from, from upstairs. It's like the other ones that are like, you know. That's fairly dense. That's uh, Mutual Aid, A Factor of Evolution by Peter, Peter Kropotkin. Ooh. So it's, um, it's basically talking against the Randian idea that, you know, we've evolution. So it's about mutualism and symbiosis. Yeah. Why, why animals succeed because they collaborate and get together yeah. as a counterpoint to the kind of neocon. No, it's survival of the fittest. Yeah. Therefore, I crush the make and uh, so it's like just lots of actual science going fuck off reagan fuck off thatcher um now this prop has reminded me did you see a, my previous interview with jb uh the first half of course i've not seen that, the uh, we haven't seen we haven't seen the second half yet that i received um tim sent me his big box oh hello mm -hmm. 
Tim. Yeah. And was he? Tim sent. He sent me a big box. Is this an? Is this a, a box opening video? Is this a box opening video? <laughs> and oh. I have a vague idea what he sent me. I've not actually looked in this. <laughs> uh, I think there's. I think there's four models in here. Do you want yeah. to guess what they might be? Plastic. Um, I don't know. Plastic, you say? Oh, well, he'll have sent you things that aren't he can't use for D and D. So I doubt there's many, if any, fantasy miniatures. But I'm imagining oh. it's going to be some either generic stuff for you. Yeah, so it's four. It's going to be orcs, isn't it? Orkin. Well, old lady orc. There's this one. It's a bit orky. It's called the Stalker. Look at that. The Stalker by the Night Folk. By Northumbrian soldier, I might All paint right. them up. There you go. Um, and what else have I got? Did you say he might send me some grey aliens? Grey aliens? Yeah. I didn't say that, and I wish I had. They got nice big heads, lovely. Yes, melon heads, lovely. Ah, uh, a blacksmith. I can't make it out, Andy. Sorry, I've but bought, yeah, it's a bag of random resin. It's actually a, a blacksmith. Take some Ooh. photos of them, and then Gary can cut them in. Make him work for his bloody money. <laughs> and this was is called Mythos, inspired by works of H.P. Lovecraft. Oh, it's... Uh, Mythos. It's, it's, a, it's a naughty... It's, uh, I can't look. I'll be... I can't, it'll I'll go her. insane. There's a lady who's... Oh, my, I was covering her legs rather than her other bits. <laughs> she's a, a lady, Cthulhu lady, it looks like, and she's dancing with a snake, and she's... Um, I'm going to have to paint a bikini on her. Good, good. Yeah. We can, we can have, um, you know, guns and weapons and uh, summon demons, but we can't have nipples now, can we? Yeah. The heart has ruined more lives than guns. Uh, I don't no, probably know. not. I mean, that sounded poetic, but it's probably rubbish. Tim, um, thank you get, very I'll much. Get those i will get on with painting those up and i'll post those up at some point i'm not sure when i'll find the time in lockdown <laughs> like next yeah. week thank you very much there we go kids there we go there are the four things hang on where are we up to yeah Switch question three. three question three <laughs> <laughs> nobody expected this nobody expected this andy we, we we at least of all us how, how uh, big is the internet can we fill it up has anyone ever yeah. Is it is it as big as Tim's box? Tim has a very I should I use remember. you know I should use this to send Ask me a models. bloody question. <laughs> <laughs> Mark. Hello, love. Hello. How are you? What does gaming mean to you? I can't remember anymore. What do we think? Um, I don't know. It's difficult to answer without stepping on some of the other questions. I know you've been answering. Asking well, you just you just answer honestly. That's all I ever ask of our guests. Yeah, just it's, it's the social thing. It's 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 a, a mechanism to hang out with my mates. It's a social lubricant. You know, it's, it is. It's, uh, you know, in, the, in our busy lives, we go. No, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go there. I'm going to play a, a game with a group of people around a table. Um, yeah. Hang out with a really good mate and chat for two hours, and then go. Oh shit! I'm on. We're on turn two, and. Maggie's trying to drag us out. I've never finished a game ever. Um, I've been there myself, like going. Should we just yeah. play this last turn, or just yeah. pack up now? Should we just say you won um, and, and leave it at that? Yeah, I, I'm not competitive in that way. Although sometimes yeah. you know it happens, you get. Oh, I'm doing well, well here. You 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 go to play a game to have fun, and mm -hmm. if you can skip the whole step of having the game, it's not such a bad thing if you have fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I do I like be... playing games as well. I've increasingly come to terms with the fact that I am enjoy the the hobby at my desk up there and the social aspect there and the going away to an event and a, a, that mass social thing as much. And I, I'm moving away from actually playing games and yeah. just coming well, and playing this... and maybe the... playing a skirmish game. And I, I love role play, but again, it's London being what it is. It's, difficult to get groups of people together even i've noticed in lockdown to get us together yeah. on skype or google hangouts or whatever it's still yeah. tricky it's but. that's definitely true it's um 
difficult to schedule sometimes, isn't it? And there's, there's so many different elements to the hobby, like there's the actual purchasing the models, choosing the army, uh, building armies, um, painting, con modeling, converting, painting, reading books about it, history. The actual playing of the game is 20%. <laughs> if I think of how many hours I spend painting, compared to yeah. how many time, how long I spend playing, it's yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's infinitesimal in comparison. I yeah. <laughs> It, be it barely it it barely registers um, the the actual gaming, but then they're the bits you remember. So yeah, oh, it's so much fun, so much fun, so many good memories of playing games. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we wouldn't want to miss out on that. Section two, we're to the second part of this. Uh, of flying oh, through, flying it. through, flying through, through it. <laughs> monk. Because um, what artists inspire you? <sighs> Um, so many, so many. I let's say because I work in film and TV, um, yeah, tech building and things, and and I worked on lots of little shorts and some features, some big, big and small. Um, I kind of look into film, and I like um, concept artists. So like guys like Aaron Beck, who mm -hmm. um, designed. Um, Oh gosh, I can't think of his name. Uh, District Nine. Um, yeah, one of the wetter workshop guys. Really hard sci-fi, beautiful stuff. Uh, lots of digital painting. Um, and you know, going back to Sid Mead and Ralph Macquarie, the guys that did um, Star Wars and Blade yeah. Runner and stuff like that. And of course, that feeds into the hobby. Um, and I and I kind of studied. Um, three-dimensional product design was kind of what I was doing at um, A-levels and uni and stuff. Um, and then, of course, you know, art history stuff. So the the the, the masters that painted with light, um, you know, so Pollock, um, Mark mm. Angelo, you know, this, the absolute god of it all. Can draw I mean, humans and machines and that. Do, you, know, do you think that flows into i'm guessing inherently it does it just leaks into your into the models that you produce for the games having that knowledge yeah. must influence you yeah i mean there's anatomy books up here and i always think about the pose of a model when i'm cutting it in half and murdering loads of resin and putting plastic glue and you know milliput and whatnot and green stuff um i'm thinking about how this thing really works in the 41st millennium on a hover tank yeah. with uh, space elves hanging around you know there's a certain amount of believability and i always think about the sculptural nature of this thing and whether this is the right scale 28 mil or is it 25 mm. mil when i when i obsess over that which is why you know my chaos squat army which was completely green stuff and kit bashed from all manner of things how many noses and Green stuff, beards. Did I model on that on that army? Crazy amounts. Why that took years to do was because I wanted it right. And yeah, I, and I'll look at, I'll look back at it and go, "Ooh, that's terrible. I'll have to do that again." But yeah, yeah. That's, I guess that's everyone, back. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I. But you know, you look, get it and move on. Next silly yeah, idea. That's um, it. You do it. Yeah, my one piece of artist would be people like um, Jamie Hewlett, Mobius, Bisley, you know, Muscles on Teeth, Bisley. Comic book artists was kind of what drew me into art initially as a nipper because I was always drawing crazed tank girl stuff. Um, yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah. So across the board, I see... Everything. A, uh, it's a, a beautiful smorgasbord of... Smorgasbord. Smorgasbord. Yeah. Oh, I didn't ask you. I, I should have asked you the opening. Um, I mean, there's a lot of interest. You are you are you designed this t-shirt, beautiful t-shirt mm. you're wearing now. Mm. Um, and literally, no one has asked me. I mean, everyone, no one has asked me where are the uh, where are the hate cast t-shirts? Hate cast t-shirts. What a great idea. Well, I, I don't want to be too mean, but lots of people get excited about t-shirt, 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 and I and I might, you know, some of them are quick and easy to do change of colour, change of this, a background. You know, I can pretty much put anything behind the graphic cutout mm -hmm. within reason um, and you can have a hate club t-shirt. Um, and I'll 
find the time to upload it on this god awful website with a really horrible, you know, horrible uh, user interface. Um, and then we can have a T-shirt printed so somewhere. And are you telling me we can have Michelangelo's Sistine Chapel, yep. but have have God chucking some dice out to Adam? Yeah, yeah. he's throwing him dice inside the hate dice. Yeah, if you can find me that image at oh, suitable God, no. you, resolution. That, that's... You need to go make that, obviously. Thing. It's got to be of a suitable resolution. It's going to be but, big, isn't it? Yeah. it's That's the classic graphic design thing. People go, oh, I found this picture on the internet, and it's all blocky and pixelated, whereas it needs to be 300 DPI print resolution. Boring. 300 anyway. DPI, kids, you heard it. 300 DPI. So yeah. I look forward to seeing the designs you come up with. <laughs> <laughs> you, Andy. Uh, this is over. I'm not... <laughs> First one, uh, Gary, if you table. if you could please um, use our first bleep on Monk there. <laughs> well, I'm I'm honoured that I'm the first. Yeah. No, I. Yeah. Unbelievable. Completely gone. <laughs> I've, never, I've never heard such things at this. Potty mouth. Yeah. Sorry. I've had a beer. Yeah. Go on then. Keep firing at me. Uh, well, favorite, a favourite genre of films? Um, if you have one. I, I, again, all the art, all the films. I will watch terrible films and find some merit in them. Um, I, I, I wouldn't say a genre um, because some films have two genres. Some, yeah, yeah. genres is actually rubbish, isn't it, really? I like Alien. Books. Alien science with fiction. Words. It's also a horror film. I like you know? films with yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I can watch almost anything um, and and take something from it. Um, yeah. I tend to watch a film first time over with my try and have my brain switched off and just enjoy it as a as a punter. But then yeah. I find it very difficult to not look at the set and see the boom come in or you know see the body wipe and. Because I have to think about these things on set sometimes and have yeah. those conversations with a production uh, designer or director or whoever I'm, you know. I, yeah. Uh, our, good friend, I'm our good friend Sasha said um, he can he, he, he could like, it's easy to like a movie, but it's very hard to love a movie, you know. He can have something on and be doing some painting and just have it on and just watch it and just go like, yep, that was fine. yeah. Am I going to get a tassies on my body? <laughs> no. Or maybe. Yeah, several. I mean, yeah. I've got. Uh, I was going to say. Yeah, I've got. Uh, I've got Miss Congeniality tassied on. Have <laughs> <laughs> ever shown you my black hole? <laughs> no. Have you frozen, Andy? What happened, Andy? <laughs> the the Geller field's wearing thin. Got to go. Um, but if you, it's just generally good art design for you is what you look for. Uh, story. Um, don't get obsessed with plot holes because you know nothing's perfect. Yeah. Um, you know. Spoilers. It's not real. Yeah. Whew. You know, susp suspend your disbelief. Let them get on with it. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I'm a big Star Wars fan. There are only three of them. Star Wars? Um, I've, ne I've never heard of that. What is what is that? Yeah, it's this story about some robots that just go have some drapes around the galaxy. Oh, uh, sounds ace. And then, yeah, yeah. You know, there's good ones and bad ones. And I was um, saying, what a, what a, I got a weird wave of nostalgia for the prequels. Mm. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I quite. I remember, like, Darth Maul battle and the pod racing and Boba Django, sorry, Django Fett flying a ship around. And yeah. I remember that, like, it was quite good. And I'd managed to edit out all the bits that weren't so good. Yeah, yeah. That's 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 what goes back to what you're saying, is but you forget the hundreds of hours and go, oh, I fucking hate these when you're painting yeah. your toys. A good time remembering or having the game, yeah. enjoying that cinematic, filling your face with popcorn. And enjoying the game retrospectively, going that was a great laugh when this happened. Yeah. That, yeah, yeah. You remember the good moments and forget the, yeah, yeah. Monk didn't even answer that, but yeah, go on. Next one. <laughs> <laughs> what makes you a builder? 
What makes you build a force for a game? I, I've thought about this long and hard, and it's generally a silly off-the-cuff comment or a bit of a joke, and then I will spend money, time, and effort um, making that joke real. Um, Do you know what? Your yeah. deep gets are clearly yeah. that's funny, but then the more you think about it, it's like, actually, that's such a great idea. If you can have wet elves, which are ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, wet elves. Then have wet, wet gobos, it's fine. And in fact, I'm more interested in the goblins than I am in the elves, <laughs> I'll be honest. Yeah, yeah. It's. I, I think it was the actually just labelling them deep gits. Yes. The, but it really cemented them as, oh my God, that's perfect. Yes, that's exactly what they are. Um, yeah. And there was a whole bunch of other mo- moist, moist gobs. Or, yeah, all kinds of things. Also ran ideas, but... Deep, deep gets, gets is, yeah, just like a squig angler fish of a git on the back. Is it's like, yeah, I'm, 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 you have some money. Take my money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if anybody more than wants, more than an elf on a turtle, I'm like elf on a turtle. No, go born angler fish. I'm there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, um, I was talking with um, Ben and I have done a doubles event before. I did my car caradons and he had his guard. And his guard were done up like, um, oh my gosh, I've forgotten the phone. Um, come on, you're a tanky. What's um, oddball on the tank? Negative waves, man. Oh, uh, yeah, hero. they got uh, the um, Kelly's hero. Yes, his the sport, Sherman, his yeah, heroes. Yeah, he had the Sherman, he had the little blue jug on the back and everything. And I had my car, 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 car dons, the space sharks. Down and dirty space marines covered in blood and chain axes everywhere. Um, and we did a doubles thing. And he's seeing my deep gits was like oh, inspired. He wants to do so. He's going to do rather than the, the spiders, he's going to do crabs. So like gene stealer claws and things. So like nice. stupid ideas have gathered momentum and are rolling up the road to Reading. I, I know, it's, it's so good. It's so good. And I, I love it when someone runs up an idea and, and they're going to convert all the models and make a, a whole new thing. And it just, it just, it's it's great, I think. Sharing stupidity. Yeah, yeah it's not stupid. It's, it's creative and it's fun. Yeah. And it's, it, you need, because you get your histor- like historical, this is, this is accurate to what was there. And then you mm-hmm. get your games like, this is the optimal list. And I think another thing, another point of view is, this is just really good fun. <laughs> yeah, It's a game. Yeah, I, I got into this whole hobby thing, seeing White Dwarf in WH Smiths as a nipper and going, wow, that looks like fun. And, you know, seeing pictures of orcs with their fingers up their nose and buckets on their heads, the, the original Mad Boys, yeah. and stuff like that, inspiring me and... You know, back when Rogue Trader first edition, um, Space Marine, the whole concept must only have been six months or so old. Uh, yeah. When I first kind of was aware of it, I, I assumed it was a thing that already existed. Um, but, you know, went up to Games Workshop in Tottenham Court Road in the plaza with my one to four travel card and whew, got this amazing thing that I poured over and looked at all the cartoons of the staff there as mutants yeah. tentacles and mouths that ro- and their oh, rogue trader the yeah. artwork in there it's like it's a it's a it's a bygone day isn't it it's those those days are gone unfortunately it's... I, I don't i don't know you, you can see you know um some of the games workshop stuff they've been doing their reveals on twitch and you know there's lots of jokes on the background on their whiteboard or on well, this it's yeah and it's an immediate scene in the video. They can have a bit of fun. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. And you meet these I, people, and we got fun. If I'm not, if I'm not allowed to be nostalgic for thirty years ago, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, these nippers don't know they were born. Back when I had knees, making Andrew. tanks out of a out of underarm deodorant. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> which oh. was a thing. <laughs> was a thing. In being encouraged by White Dwarf to cut out pieces of plastic card and use a historical base and make your whirlwind and i got carried away and made three of them for my noise marine army because i'm fucking metal me metal Sorry, Gary. metal yeah, yeah Gary, i mean I, if I, you still, wouldn't mind. I, I still listen to bolt thrower 
from back in the day because yeah, I love my death metal. And I'm that's sorry, the way yeah, Space Marines sound like. Yeah, it's true. Realm of Chaos. <laughs> um, <laughs> Monk, once you finish your deep gets, yeah, what's your next army project going to be? Um, probably something skirmishing. Just so, like I say, something small I can take to the take to the club. Um, some more Frostgrave because there's, like you say, uh, new addition. I'm sure. Hopefully, Joe will be down the club. Yeah, showing us all how it's done. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. He's a good boy. He's he's had us run things at the club. Gary getting his Hawaiian shirt on, um, playing the Ghost Star Capelago one. Yeah, I, I'm very intrigued. It's always a good game. It's always good fun. Another yeah, one it's... that you play seriously or silly. Michael's little mice and um, people could just use whatever models from whatever, whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just use whatever you like and, yeah, that's it's always fun. fun. It's fun to paint, yeah. I want to do some sci-fi skirmish because I never really jumped on Necromunda. Um, it was a bit too close to 40k and I didn't, I always found myself kind of scared. Uh, Skipping between editions and do yeah. I get my flame fight out or do I not? Yeah, I managed to get one game of kill team in. Yeah. Before it went to lockdown, and I find you need ten models. You can see easy enough to do. Yeah. Yeah, you can knock I, out I, ten models. I jumped on it when it first um, came out because skirmish games were easier to move around. Yeah. Um, had a game with Aiden, and then I don't know what happened. Another. You know, the content host and workshop switched on to something else or I got busy with work and then it kind of... I mean, you guys, you and a couple of other people, excuse me, started up on it and then it, yeah, and then global yeah. pandemic. Yeah, because I realised it had gone past and I'd like, oh, I haven't played this. I bought the rule set and I, was, I really want to give it a go and I, I, I don't really play 40k anymore because it's, it's just, it's not to my taste lots of models and i just i, I didn't like eighth edition and maybe night would be different maybe i want to get back involved but it's just have, not for me they, at the they, moment yeah they seem to have been doing a good job of scaling it to something that you could fit in one kr case you know yeah so you don't yeah. have to do full armies because yeah it's, oh yeah. yeah it's um you know orc armies you know you put your back out playing with orcs well, you put, if you remember the interview of Aiden, you'll, you'll remember we talked about that. Yeah. I vaguely remember, like, throwing my arms in the air, going, whee, orc stuff, woo. I can't even remember why, because I think we may have had a couple of games of beer in between. I, I remember I had, I think I had a cloudy lemonade. Cloudy lemonade. <laughs> I think it was a cloudy <laughs> lemonade that I had. I had a couple of sips. So it's probably the, the sugar rush. As, yeah, yeah. That, but, yeah. That made you pick me up and wave me around like I was your bolt gun oh, or something. You are, like, you are a sturdy man, monkey. I mean, you know, mm. you're not as tall as me, but I think you're the same amount of matter compressed in. Yeah, I mean, it destroyed I'm half sick. my body. You destroyed my body, monk. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> it's literally like, the first time. <laughs> should we? Should we turn the record button off and just get back to flirting? We just always ne never stop always. flirting it's fine <laughs> it's real man i love it's you real. Real. and everybody else out there love you all too so um i think um while me and monk get down we're gonna just flirt have a flirt off we're gonna yeah. take a quick break let, off. <laughs> let the temperature cool down in the room <laughs> <laughs> right for the emperor for the em <laughs> emperor protects Love you, man. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> uh, <yeah. sighs> 